From the CAL FIRE Information Center, I'm Julie Hutchinson with the Fire Situation Report for the week of September 27, 2010. As fall officially began, most Californians encountered a very hot and dry weekend. CAL FIRE's firefighters were busy with numerous wildfires that were kept relatively small. Firefighters have aggressively attacked over 94 wildland fires statewide since Friday morning. Let's take a look at the statewide fire map and you can see that the largest of those fires was a 98-acre fire in the northern part of the state near the town of Bodega. Significant activity also occurred in Napa, Santa Cruz, San Mateo, Riverside, and San Diego counties where most fires were kept at 10 acres or less. Today, firefighters have all of the weekend fires contained and are continuing mop-up on the Bodega fire. The weather will play a critical role in the threat of wildfires throughout fall. Historically, very large and damaging wildfires occur during this time of the year when the weather patterns lead to very hot and dry conditions and offshore and north winds develop. Fall is also the time that wildland fire fuels are reaching critical moisture levels. Taking a look now at the weather headlines across the state, the weather will remain dry and unseasonably hot. There are red flag warnings in effect for Southern California and portions of Ventura, Kern and LA counties early in the week due to the high temperatures and low humidity. By Wednesday, we will begin to see a cooling trend, bringing increased humidity and the possibility of isolated showers and thunderstorms over the weekend. Firefighters from local, state, and federal agencies remain on high alert and staff to aggressively attack new fires. It is important that residents remain vigilant and remain prepared to go early during an evacuation. Prepare your family early and implement your evacuation plan if a wildfire threatens your home. That's the latest on the fires in California. I'm Julie Hutchinson. Have a fire safe week.